highlight of the National Football League. And the focus of this one is on Odell Beckham Jr. He's putting together one of the better seasons in league history. It's the Ravens and the Bengals under the lights on Thursday night. Set to take over. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. It's caught. Back up. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The numbers for Beckham in last week's effort. Three catches, 125 yards, and a touchdown. And that touchdown adds to his lead. He is the NFL leader as we roll through November. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. Finding space at the 40. Down the right sideline. And they will finally get to him down at the Bengals' 35-yard line. 46 yards on the play. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now it's Jackson. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A good pick up there at 22. For the 13 now, they'll work on first and 10. Now it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Throwing is Jackson. He'll dump this off, complete to Dobbins. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, Brandon, obviously no panic in them. They gave up the touchdown. You know, their defensive side did that. But he's already taken them back downfield. I love this. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Here is they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Play action. Now Jackson rolling to his right. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 13-7, our score. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. and be backed up to the 24. He went backwards there eight yards and it brings up third down. Jackson. And he will slide down with a good game. Able to pick up a dozen yards there on the scramble, but not enough. Fourth down. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. This will be caught in about the six. Touchdown! Devin Duvernay. Head back out there, already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. After the interception, here's Jackson. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touch. Here they will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Jackson on first down, flushed out right. And got his man complete. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half they'll break the huddle come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line 
Play action. It's Jackson on the move to his left. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So we've reached halftime. Half time over, no problem with us. We'll skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. Devin Duvernay. And he will score. Touchdown, Ravens. Last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Out to his left. That's complete. Left side to Bateman. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. On second down, a run with Dobbins. They get six yards back on the run, but still have a third and long situation forthcoming. So, Charles, you talk about this offense, how well they played. I mean, the defense, too, really. But they're sitting at 10-0 now on the year. 4-0, 5-0, that's nice. But once you start hitting double digits with these wins and no losses, I think the seriousness of the situation, it just has to ramp up. Yeah, I mean, you do say 10-0. It can't scare you as a team. Just think about it this way. For most of the year, they've been playing to win their division and get to the playoffs. Now the playoffs are just about a foregone conclusion. So now they have to down-focus their thoughts about And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. That's going to be caught. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark it. Back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Jackson now. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Flush to his right. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Ravens first down. It's a gain of 12 on fourth. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the... Back now in Baltimore. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, these two teams, they met up earlier in the year, back in week two, and it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams, now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Now Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Play fake. Here's Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Mark Allen will be at the 25-yard line as 
as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, that last completion, CD, is now over 400 yards passing in the game. And quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 48 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. To the right side, this is Edwards. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Second down and eight. Now Jackson. And that will be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. As we drop you back in, and the offense gets set to take over. Here's Jackson. That's going deep for Bateman. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman. 75 yards. And the Ravens answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team. To score a touchdown, sometimes it's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now he's into the clear again. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. Got right back to it. And look, long drives have their place. We know that. They can wear teams down. But when you hit them with big plays like that, that can really be a shot to them. They officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone 